Good morning, everybody. How you guys doing this beautiful day? It is January 10th, 2023, Big Bear, California, and this is just an update on this storm. We should have already transitioned to snow by now, but we have not. It's been raining all night long. I've been waking up every hour on the hour just to take a peek outside and see what's going on, and it nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing has changed. This is fantastic for the town though. We need all this precipitation. I mean, we really desperately do. So this is great. I'm excited about this um, because our lake could really use this. I hope it has an impact though, because keep in mind when I was doing the thunderstorms and we had a couple massive thunderstorms this last monsoon season, even with the few that dropped like an inch or two per hour, um, it didn't touch the lake which is shocking because usually that much rain would have a huge impact on the lake. So even though it sounds like not much, an inch or two, but anyway, 39 degrees, 725 in the morning. We're going to head up Snow Summit way real quick. Maybe they'll let us through. I doubt it though. No, if they got people working. But we're on Summit Boulevard. As you can see right now, there's just no, no traffic. This is beautiful. And I don't think there's going to be any traffic today either. These would be just miserable conditions to go skiing, you guys. You don't want this. So we're going to turn here at Switzerland. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, but just horrible conditions. As we climbed in elevation a little bit to get here to Snow Summit, temperature dropped by one degree to 38. For this video, we're, we're going to stick to what we usually do, which is basically do the tourist areas, the areas more people are familiar with. There's the exit to Snow Summit. You can't really see it through my window though. Now we're on a th street called Thrush. Thrush. And in a few days after we get a little break, after today, um, we have a few days off and then we got another series of systems coming through. It appears at this moment there's going to be more snow with that one, but we shall see. We still have, for this storm, three to five inches possible, so they say, once we transition. I'm telling you guys, we'd have feet and feet and feet of snow in this town if all this rain the past many storms has been snow. It would be a lot of snow. But no. And look, basically all the snow is freaking melted in town for the most part. You'll see those little patches of snow like that and right here in front of that hotel, but that's from the snow plows. And it's just really hard, like icy snow. So it takes longer for that to melt, but this little hillside, people leaving their sleds and trash everywhere. With all due respect, like please, please pick your crap up. You know, I, I used to tell people if, if you see someone like leaving their trash or, or throwing their trash out, pick it up and throw it in their car, you know? Such entitled, disrespectful little bastards. <laughs> Seriously, this is everyone's playground, you know? And we want everyone to come up here and enjoy themselves, but not trash the place. Like, like let's leave one part of Southern California nice and clean. We don't have to ruin everything. really is so frustrating. 
And I know that that's not people on this channel. You guys are super respectful, but there are so many kooks out there. So if you see someone throwing something out their car window, pick it up and throw it right back in their face. I give you permission. So enough about that. As I said, I'm not gonna lecture you guys because you guys aren't the ones doing that. You guys on this channel are freaking amazing people. Yeah, it's like sheets of rain coming down right now. Holy sheet of rain. We're gonna be driving through the village when it is completely dead. And then we're gonna take Big Bear Boulevard down to like Boulder Bay and then we're gonna flip around just so you guys can see how much snow has melted from all this rain. And all the people making snow, my gosh, like they work their butts off on the mountains to, and they're there overnight, like just in awful conditions, like most of the time when it's really cold. And um, I feel bad for them because they put in a lot of work just to have a lot of it melt because of this. It's wrong. It's wrong, I tell you. Or I was thinking one more thing regarding the throwing trash and leaving your sleds and stuff. Not your sleds, but the people who come up here and leave their sleds on the hill and stuff like that. Just grab the sled and beat them over the head with it. No biggie. I fully give you permission to do that. Just kidding. Don't ever do that. <laughs> don't ever do that. But don't don't have any fear in speaking up though. Because as I said, this is this is all of our vacation spot. This is you know one of the last places in, in Southern California that's just not full. That's just not garbage. Thankfully, we do have a lot of people around here who volunteer to pick up trash and do stuff like that, which is nice. But I'm sure they would like to be using their time doing other things. Yeah, I hope you guys understand and appreciate where my frustration comes from. Because if there's anything that's personal to me up here, it's stuff like that. Guys, this would be such good snowfall right now. It would be accumulating like a champ right now. Yeah, it's uh, once again a bit of a disappointment. I mean, as I keep on saying though, for the lake, this is this is fantastic. This is fantastic. As much of this as we can get, the better. But I prefer it to be snow, but these would be the best conditions to fill up the lake. I know a lot of people think that having a snowpack would help a lot, but I mean, the fact is, is that a lot of the snow in a snowpack ends up evaporating before it belts all the way down to the lake so um, look at this stream going right into the lake so awesome that's why we should be praying for more rain and more rain like this I haven't seen this thing flood like this in forever that's a great sign really interested to see what the impact is after these uh, this next storm too I mean, you guys, it really wouldn't take that much if you think about it, of just some really strong, steady rain for a few days to fill that lake up. It's not that big of a lake. And even though it was like 15 to 20 feet down um, from its full capacity, I mean, that, would, that wouldn't be that many 
that many inches of rain, especially if it happens super quickly because of all the runoff everywhere, all the runoff into the lake, it would be, it wouldn't take that much rain. So as you guys can see, there's no traffic coming into town right now. One thing that frustrates me is that on some of my weather apps, it's showing that there's a wintry mix right now. And there certainly is not. It's just so deceptive. If we weren't such a long drive from everybody, I wouldn't be as upset, but I don't, I don't like you guys wasting your time like that. It's not right. It's not right. So we're heading into the snowiest part of town when it comes to the valley part. Once again, as you get closer to the mountains themselves, you'll get a lot more snow towards the hills and stuff. But when it comes to the valley, this is the snowiest part of the valley we are about to enter. And you can see a lot of this snow has melted as well. But once again, hills. And the further back you go that way, I know you can't see much out that window, but the further back you go that direction, you get more, more snow. So you know what, we're gonna turn into this parking lot here and then make a U-turn, if it's open. Nope, it's not, dang, bummer. I don't know why they've closed Boulder Bay Park. But yeah, just like usual, the precipitation's heavier over here. It's just really is sad. There's so much snow melting. I'll show you guys what made me move up here what was the uh, one of the biggest reasons so one of my best friends growing up his family is extraordinarily successful I mean even for like Orange County Beach type people like extraordinarily successful they had houses at, in a lot of different areas but I'm talking humongous mansions my friend's dad, I think, like, like supplied all the um, emergency rooms and hospitals with their equipment and stuff. And he's a physician and just, I mean, guys, just, you want to talk about huge cashish, huge. So when I was like 19, 20 and 21, we would come up and stay at their, their big bear house, which is on this street. It's right on the corner. When you pull onto the heated driveway, it's one of very few homes up here with a a heated driveway so there's never any snow on it when you pull onto the driveway the house doesn't look that big because it, it's at the top of the hill up here but it goes down like four stories and it's 10,000 square feet and this is just one of their or was one of their many houses um, and it was it was really cool because when when the tour boats would cruise around they would always point out and that massive house is is dr. Gary Groves house so here's the driveway right here. It's the house at the end right there, 655. Oh man, I miss that place so much. I miss it so much. It is such a massive, beautiful place. We had so many good memories there. So many good memories there, unbelievable. But it wraps around the corner of the lake and you can see how big all of these houses are, but there's like dwarfs these. I think Oscar De La Hoya had one of these houses when he was living up here as a full-time resident. As Dana White would say, he probably sold the house for his yayo problem. 
But yeah, right on the lake. It's just spectacular, guys. I mean, just such beautiful homes here. It's just incredible. But yeah, my friend Jordan's house, like, was right on, it's right on the corner of where the lake bends and the house wrapped around the whole corner. Just incredible. When you're on a boat looking at it, you're, you're just blown away with like, how can someone afford that, <laughs> you know? And that was just one of many. They own five acres right next to uh, Three Arch Bay in South Laguna, right on, on the beach cliff side, five acres. And there, there were f four or five homes on that property. And my friend Jordan lived in one, his sister lived in one, his dad lived in one once the parents got a divorce. Um, and you wanna talk about some of the most beautiful views in the entire world from their houses on, on the cliff. And they owned a huge private section of that beach too. Literally just south of Three Arch Bay where there's a bunch of wealthy, famous people that live in Three Arch Bay, but this five acre property, oh my gosh, you guys, like, and as I said, South Laguna, right on the cliff side with their own beach and everything. Um, I've never seen anything like it. And that's growing up in Newport Beach. And I grew up in a very exclusive, exclusive island. My house on Zillow is worth $13 million, the house that I grew up in. Had an elevator, seven bedrooms, seven bathrooms. We had a 69 foot yacht, a catamaran, um, Boston Whalers, this and that. Um, mom drove a Rolls Royce and a Jaguar. And it was just a crazy lifestyle growing up. Um, and both my parents, they grew up with nothing, absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, uh, they've, they've lost most of it, if not all of it now. Um, they live very frugal lives. Um, I'm able to help my mom and dad out every month for the past four and a half years. And it feels great. I just wish that with all the hard work and everything they had that they didn't lose it all. But when you trust your friends, you can get screwed. Not that you shouldn't trust people. You shouldn't be that, that cynical. But um, I just feel absolutely horrible because I don't want my mom and dad at 80 and 90 years old right now to struggle but that's kind of what's going on like my mom lives with my older brother now and it's just it's just tough it's just super tough but i grew up a crazy like mtv cribs lifestyle it was super cool but my whole point to bring that story up is that with with my friend jordan who we just went by his big bear house like those guys made my parents when 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 my parents were at their highest level look like homeless people <laughs> like I swear um, never ever seen that kind of money in my entire life um, it, it it always impressed me how someone can make that that kind of money um, I mean I guarantee you there are happy people who don't have money and there's happy people who have money and there's angry and sad people who don't have money and angry and sad people who have money but I'd rather be having money and then try to live my life like that instead of uh, always playing the victim card and not not willing to put out any effort in life and just hating on wealthy people I think that's the stupidest thing ever because I'd like to be wealthy someday you know that would be awesome travel when you want have nicer things once again things don't mean anything I understand it, it's all about family friends and love it really is but Anyway, that property in South Laguna, you guys, just unfreaking believable. And right before the parents got a, a divorce, I had seen the uh, plans for just a massive, massive, massive house. I think it was like 27,000 square feet right on the cliffside there with the most stunning ocean views because you're right on the ocean and Catalina Island views and um, but every, everything fell apart when the parents got a divorce. I felt so bad for my friend. Like, uh, but he was someone whose parents, as I said, had a ton of money, but, but worked really hard, went to college and stuff. He didn't just, he wasn't a lazy bum. And 
I always envied him for that because he truly didn't didn't have to have to do anything but he wanted to feel that sense of accomplishment and as I said went to college graduated college and um, worked his butt off and I'm just super super proud of him he'll be coming up here in about a week so anyway enough of that story but that's why I moved up to Big Bear was because staying at that house with him and, and all of our friends back then having huge parties, keggers, and um, eating fungus all the time up there. Just back when I wasn't too smart. Not that I am now, but back when I wasn't too smart. But we had so much fun up here. And yeah, that's precisely why I moved up to Big Bear. I wanted to move up to the mountains because of the snow, and especially Lake Arrowhead, because as a kid, my parents had a house there too. And it was a big, beautiful house overlooking the lake right across from the Lake Arrowhead Village and uh, so my best memories even traveling the world a few times my best memories still as a youngster are at our Lake Arrowhead house when it was snowing it was the greatest time that was back when my family was not all broken up um, just a beautiful time of my life and so I wanted to be close to that and yeah, so that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Nostalgia is important for me. So when you guys come up here, watch out for all these new potholes. There are a lot of potholes this season. A ton of them. So just be careful with your cars. I don't want you guys to damage your cars. Keep your eyes peeled for sure. We're back on Big Bear Boulevard here. We're gonna head back Moon Ridge Way. So apparently yesterday when I was talking about potholes, there were these these big tractors on the right with the Caltrans car in front of it. I had no idea, but literally I was complaining about the potholes and a couple of you let me know. You guys were like, do you know what those what, what that big tractor and that truck were doing? And I, and I was like, no idea. And they said, filling potholes. Like literally I was complaining about it right as we're passing the pothole fillers. So that's... That's that's super cool. I didn't realize that they would fix them so or try to fix them so quickly, but they have. They fixed some of them in this far right lane. So thank you, Big Bear, for being on top of it. Because we really want to give you tourists the best experience possible up here. <laughs> Because once again, I'll never stop mentioning it. Without you guys, none of us live up here. You guys are the ones who create the jobs for us. You guys are the ones who... It's, that's the reason we have to create jobs up here. And thank you, as always, to everyone who works at the ski, ski resorts. And who work your butts off to, to, to give these people a great time. You guys are awesome. And I thank you because you give me a chance to live here too. This town would be nothing without those ski resorts. Yes, in the summertime we would have still tourism because of the lake, but I'm telling you, that lake doesn't touch what the ski resorts bring in. Like, not even close. Not even close. We still wouldn't be able to, to live up here if we just had the lake. Some people would, but not with most most of the jobs up here. There wouldn't be a lot of jobs up here without the ski resorts. Look, we got some blue popping in here. Hopefully a little clearing 
will allow some of this warmer air to escape our, our, our atmosphere here and bring in the colder air because the cloud cover keeps things warmer. So hopefully that's what this will do. Anyway, guys, thank you for cruising. Um, I apologize about, you know, getting frustrated. Here's some more pothole, guys. I apologize about getting frustrated about all the trash and stuff, but I mean, guys, this is, this is our playground for all of us. Let's just love it and enjoy it together and take care of it. Because as I said, there is nothing left in Southern California that's nice. So love you guys. Peace out. Talk to you guys later.